Welcome to my custom interloper run. I'm Knife 29 and here's what's in our backpack. Uh, we're just a bit overweight, but we have a ton of matches. Um, and coal. And we got some wood. Clothing's relatively okay. Uh, this is the issue. Uh, if you notice, there's no reishi in here. Uh, we're possibly on the verge of getting food poisoning here. Um, I can probably drop some of these torches. I have a 100% torch. I'm, you know, I don't use them very often. Oh, well, look at you. You have actual bullets. Let's do that. So there's that. Oh, I have an extra can. And we have a bunch of saplings. We're on day 12. And here are our skills. And we're midday. We have a bunch of saplings down here. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. And luckily I did not forget <laughs> to pick these up. Because that's the whole reason we're here. And we got a bunch of wood here too. Um, I wonder. I don't really need that. And I think I'll go over here. There we go. We have a 50 and a 100% torch. And we have, I think, a... And we still have a blizzard. Hmm. What to do? What to do? I mean, we can eat. And watch that. I don't want to lose well fed. We can eat the, uh... And, and unfortunately, this doesn't help us. Uh, I think we have to do this. Oh, we did not get food poisoning. Unbelievable. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Uh, unfortunately, I think I will get food poisoning at some point. Uh, I don't know why, but let's just throw you over there. I don't really want to break down wood. Kind of, I mean, we need this weather to clear up. You got the silent killer achievement, mainly because you're using revolver variants and haven't found any. That's, uh, that's basically how I ended up with that as well. It was just by chance. I, I hadn't found any, uh, any rifles in my run. Oh, if only this weather could clear up. Uh, let's read an hour of you. And another. Hey, me ten, welcome in. Oh, we got a revolver too. Oh, I don't have any water. Really? You know, it might have been smarter to be uh, boiling water while I was in there. I got cans, right? I got cans. Plus one. That's not bad. You know what? 
I'm looking at the time of day. I'm looking at I don't have any water. Um, I don't think there's any mushrooms down here. I don't, uh, uh, what to do, what to do. I'm just so confused right now as to what I should be doing. One part of me wants to go indoors and just boil up some water so that's not a problem. Another part of me wants to press on and hopefully find some rabbits. I don't think these ptarmigans are out. I didn't hear them when I came outside. Uh, how many sticks do we have? Eight. And yeah, I think uh, I should grab sticks while we're out. This pack is getting kind of heavy. Look at all the rocks like seven rocks sitting right there. I got three. <laughs> Don't panic and grab a towel. At least that's the Hitchhiker's uh, Guide to the Galaxy recommendation. Got some pretty decent wind going on here. Minus 12. I think we just gotta press on and hope that we can find some food. Or at the very least, get closer to some food. My worry about staying there is, uh... I will end up with food poisoning. And there's no reishi anywhere in the area. Yeah, we're on our way to find some wildlife. This is, uh... There's some deer up here. Was there a carcass up here as well, or am I remembering wrong? But my thinking is at least if we press on, we'll be closer to some reishi. So when we do get food poisoning, we can have that dealt with a little quicker. We need to find food. <laughs> I ate the carcass already. Oh man, I don't even remember. So now I have to make my own carcass. Nice. I'm thinking I'm going to have to eat this bad food. And it's peanut butter. Mm, no point going in there. to eat the peanut butter. The good thing is that, well, we still have to sleep 10 hours after theirs. And that's our only weapon, right? Yeah. Well, it's not unheard of to take a deer down with the uh, revolver. Oh, two bucks. Oh, I got my mind set on the guy that has his head behind the tree. Oh, 
Boom headshot! Boom headshot! Boom headshot! Instinctively. <laughs> My first thought there was FNRA. He's in here. But nope. That was me, Ken. <laughs> oh, there's a there's RA. <laughs> Welcome in, RA. I thought you just boom headshotted me. Oh, son of a we I have to eat this. And hope. Oh my, we did not get food poisoning. Will one of you just turn and face me? Is there cattails down there? I don't think there is, is there? Alright, bud. You're meant to be mine, I guess. Now, you also have to go down. I got ya. I saw the icon. Uh, deer is at zero, so... I gotta stay crouched. I don't want to spook them any more than they are. Oh, that's our boy. Get out of there. You know what? Maybe we can chase him a little bit. And hopefully he goes to a place that uh, works better for the us. The guy who drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right now. There we go. No, this might not be a bad spot. I'm gonna use that and that and the birch bark as you know what? <laughs> Don't care right now. Oh great. <laughs> Oh, I should put some water on there while I'm waiting. I didn't realize there was such a such a drop off right there. Okay, so that'll be about thirty eight minutes. And there's no wolves in here, so I think we should be good to just harvest away. Oh, this is perfect. I'm getting uh, temperature as well. <laughs> That's the opposite of how you hunt with the revolver. You light them up until they go down. Murdback does the same. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. 
Yeah, can you imagine a wolf glitching up here somehow? Well, that's not close to 40 minutes. stop uh thanks for stopping in and you have a great day bud Let's get that 29 28 we got lots of time on fire we actually have a warm night too This is going to be a big deal. Getting all this meat is huge. Oh, we got a, an Aurora. I wonder, do I have, you know what, I do have, I'm taking that, uh, that would be a fire right there. I only had that one book, and stupidly I used the one book I have along with the accelerant. I should have used a book to start one fire and accelerant to start the other, but this looks like it's going to go, so that's okay. Perfect. And we have a bunch of coal, so... Whoops. We got three. I don't know if I'm going to try it for the other buck. I mean, we wouldn't be able to carry all of that meat anyways. We got 2.2 and what's that looking like? got enough meat cooked. What I definitely need to get is some more water, so I'll do that. There's a nice little wind blocked area to build the fire, but I wish I didn't have to walk all around this rock to get up back to the deer. 
Luckily, this is the last time we gotta come up here. Oh, we're a long ways away from level 5. Trucking. I think we just got into level 2. Yeah, we're like, I don't know what you would call that, order. Alright, I do not want to drop that small piece amongst all these ones. And what do we got, two minutes? Uh, I want to get this one over and done with. Yeah, four to five is huge, huge. What are we at? 108. I'm going to do another leader. Actually, to be honest, I'm probably going to do two more leaders. up the belly so I don't really have to worry about that. There we go. You're upside down because you're backwards. You are smaller. Um... Luckily, we don't have any predators up here, so... I'm not sure I can carry much more. 208. I guess there's nothing else to do but this past time. I do want to make sure all of it is cooked. Alright, 308. Now we can get uh, doubled up on our cooking. What do we got here? Like six. So maybe we'll probably do one more liter of water. While we have a fire. I'll burn a few sticks. We don't have a whole lot of them, so. Right, you're 28. Put that to 58. be good on that one. And this one we can, we got enough time for another leader.
Alright, food and water are not an issue anymore. What's our weight? We're at 50 kilograms. Yeah, there, if I was to try to take another deer, we would not be able to walk. It's a nice night. I don't know if it's smarter to go this way or this way. You know what? Let's mm, let's go this way. Okay, let's change our mind and not go that way. Because actually, I just thought. Um. I have a rope climb down to get to that cabin, so that's not going to happen right now when we're this tired. on level four for archery and you have level five cooking those and you feel those are the two most important i agree totally once you can uh crouch with the bow things get a lot easier you made a silly amount of arrowheads that's your gig man that's what you do <laughs> You found three hammers between Mystery Lake and Broken Railroad. Wow. I'm reading chat. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just going to go to this cave. Uh, we're halfway through the night and I still have to sleep. Every once in a while when you're slow walking, you check it out just to make sure. Am I actually crouched accidentally? <laughs> no, I'm not. Minus five out here. We'll see what the temperature inside the cave is. Yeah, goading has definitely not gone very well lately. <laughs> and especially, it's plus eight in here. Hmm. Especially goading at night on a goat you haven't done. It's a little bit different when you've done it a bunch of times, but if it's a new one to you... Alright, I'm gonna go four hours. And it will hopefully not get colder in here.
Alright, that should be enough sleep for now. Can't eat as much of the meat as we can. We're not terribly overweight right now. Oh, you know what? I can do that and fill up a little bit of, uh... The alertness. Alright, what's our weight now? 48 and a half out of 40. That's not too bad. Looks like we got nice weather. can get to just over we're a little over maybe you could call that two-thirds maybe over halfway through level two if we got feathers. Let's go look for feathers. How many do I have on me? I have 10. But one thing, I don't have a clue what I have for feathers. Um, at the Mountaineer's Hut. Oh, damn it. I came up here and they're all down there. Oh, well. It wasn't a major detour. What's that? That's a fire, but what's next to it? Oh, is that just a rope? Yeah, it's a rope. Alright, let's go. Am I going the right way? Or am I walking into a corner? I think I'm walking into a corner. This way I go, I guess. Hmm. Oh, now we find a bunny. <laughs> oh, well. I will take a deer kill over two bunnies any day. Well, yeah, and those rabbits aren't exactly easy kills these days, are they? At least not for me, they aren't. I had a good stretch where I was pretty confident with the bunnies. I didn't miss too, too often. But lately, it's been a bit of a different story. Hey, this is the bear cave, isn't it? I bring this out. Not like... Well, is it? No, it's not. 
Actually, we're past that bear cave. That's on the other side. Here's the climb, and we're nine kilograms overweight. Oh, well. Now we're exactly nine. Well, that may as well all be inside the lantern. Actually, that does help a little bit on the weight. I did this before, didn't I? And I dropped a bunch of meat. Well, I'm dropping the sticks for sure, so... I'll make it a little more worth my while if I do actually come back up here. And I have to pick up all my sticks, I will have a little more to pick up. Uh, to goat or not to goat? That is the question. I don't know this goat, so that is a very unlikely scenario. Have you ever goaded this? Oh, damn. We might not have a choice. <laughs> ah, shite. I came down a little bit too far and I got stuck on this, so we're... Oh, shit. Cross your fingers. And RA, if you boom headshot me while I'm doing this, You might get in trouble. <laughs> oh, this is... Oh, boy. The unwanted goat. That's what this is. Where's Meaten when you need him? Oh, there goes our run. Son of a uh, big old bee. 